this class, we are still going to learning use a shadow to draw a person. I find this picture, the person have lots of shadows on his face. Can't see any eyeballs, right? No nostrils, no nothing, because it's so dark. So only dark and light. I want you to, you know, try to look shadow as a, you know, as a shapes. So first you just did the person with a, uh, you know, the his face is a little slanted, it's a little side view, you can tell, right? And then what you do is um you get the you know the overall the shadows shape. See the nose is not on here, okay? The nose compared to the side of the face, you know where the nose is, right? And the lip and that's that. So when you place after you placed, you can kind of start shading. Remember to leave that part light. That's the top of the eyelid. That's the only light part. Um, that's the only light part in 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 that whole, you know, dark thing, dark shadow. And make sure the nose. See, that's the nose. Then the shadow of the nose is like this, right? That's the nose. And then the lip. After, you know, actually, after I finished this, I felt like, I felt like my, my lip, I raised my lip on this one. i show you later. So, this lip is not on the right place. Anyhow. So after this, I start shade the background because the background is uh, the whole background is so dark. So I shade the background. Then this this one is the first done with the first step. So I'm going to start with the second step. Remember in the first step, I start shading from here. On the second step, I start from here too. See the difference? This first step, second step, I made it more detail, more darker, right? So I finished this, and I finished that, and I finished this, just, you know, finish the one by one, look, then finish that, and finish the nose. Then I find out, like, my lips are too up, so I erase this part. I made the lips lower, right? So I, I finished this too. So it's not like you have this that you're going to follow this all the way. In process of drawing, if you find that, that part is not right, you have to, you know, fixing it. So that's what I did. I erased the lip, I moved the lip down. Then I, you know, because I finished this, finished this, finished this. I thought, oh, the lips are not right. So I looked and erase the lip and finish the lip. And this, this I finished, right? So you tell what's the difference now between these two. I made the eye even darker. So that's the third step. I start with this eye again, okay? So I made the both are darker now. And I did uh, more shadow than this side. Um, then I keep darkening the background, made some hair, kind of. So the thing about I want to talk about it is a wrinkle. Okay, this is very important because I do not want you. Um, to draw a wrinkle like this, let's show you. I don't want you to draw a wrinkle like that. All right, you have the natural, the natural way drawing things. It, the line always changes, goes up and down, up and down. See how I do doing it? Dark and light, dark and break up, and very light. So if you if you draw a wrinkle like this 
it doesn't look like a wrinkle. It just looked like a bunch of line on the face. Doesn't go with the face. You understand? So this one, I really want you to get the wrinkle right. And see the little bit of shadow here? Very important. The little bit of shadow make the face goes this, that way. Okay? So if you don't have that, this is flat. But if you just have a little bit of shadow here, the face goes up like that. Okay? Um, that's it. Hope you enjoy it. This is this one's hard.